thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to the channel. Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, my name is Steve. Uh, I've just joined YouTube and I thought it would be a good idea for to share my kind of experience with photography and how um, essentially I self-taught photography uh, just through trial and error rather than uh, through college or university um, or through any other course. Uh, so my photography journey, if you will, uh, started around five years ago and it started just by chance. I was on holiday in Egypt with a friend and there was uh, we went into the uh, Sinai Desert on a, a Milky Way uh, kind of stargazing tour. Uh, to cut a long story short, there was a, a young guy there who was taking pictures of the Milky Way uh, and when I had a look at that I was kind of really blown away by it. So I came back home and uh, decided that I would get a telescope, which you can see behind me. I didn't opt straight away for the camera. I decided to go for a telescope first. I did get a, a DSLR camera after that, uh, just through necessity. Uh, really have to have one for to photograph different star clusters, galaxies, uh, and various different planets and whatnot. So I decided to buy the Canon 1200D, which again is uh, a camera that I've kept, uh, and it served, a, you know, a great kind of purpose. It was fairly affordable; it was three, four hundred quid, with a standard kit lens. Um, it took great pictures. It was easy for to get to know. Like I say, I didn't have any training, uh, any courses or anything like that. I learned simply through going out trial and error, trying different settings on the camera in various different settings with various different light, weather, that type of thing. That's the whole purpose of this first video is to say you don't need, well I certainly don't think that you need a professional course uh, initially for to start off with. You, I think if you uh, get a camera, whether it's your smartphone or a DSLR and you just go out and try the different settings, uh, try different times of day, sunrise, sunset, middle of the day, uh, different types of weather. Initially just to get the feel of the camera. Further down the line you might think, yeah actually I do want to go into a very, you know, a training course or a program or whatnot. But you can learn just simply through trial and error. Uh, watching YouTube, watching different people's channels to see what kind of pictures they take and whatnot. Anyways, going back to how I decided to go through photography. So about five years ago, I think uh, life was pretty dull back then. You know, I had a fairly stable job, um, which I was happy in. Uh, you know, occasionally I'd go out with friends and whatnot. But other than that, I think life was pretty drab back then. And I didn't have many hobbies or interests. And I do feel at the time I was going through some period of low mood or depression uh, at times and when I decided for to get the telescope and the, the camera it just helped in a way that I can't really describe uh, going out getting out along the coast at different places around the, the county uh, not necessarily taking the best pictures but just getting out and experiencing landscapes that I've never actually kind of walked along before and uh, came across before and that in itself has helped dramatically fill in time that I would otherwise be spending uh, not doing very much perhaps so I do think it's helped long term in terms of uh, treating low mood and perhaps a bit of anxiety and whatnot so it is great for that and it's it's a great hobby and even if you feel like you don't take very good pictures you will develop you will get better some of my first pictures were absolutely shockingly bad. When I look back at them, uh, the first pictures that I took were of uh, Orion in the night sky with a tripod about this big because I ordered the wrong the wrong one. Um, I, I was expecting a big tripod, but it was about that big. Um, the first picture was of Orion, very, very out of focus uh, when I look back at the pictures. But at the time, I was over the moon, absolutely blown away by it. And that's kind of where it led on from. Um, 
at the time you think your pictures are brilliant and really really good and you're really happy with them but you get better just through your own experience through your own trial and error of what looks good and what doesn't so go out try with your smartphone try with your digital camera try the different settings nothing can go wrong um, and you will get better with it and I hope through this channel that I can start to give what I've kind of learned through photography and different settings, uh, how I go about taking certain shots, um, how I go about planning uh, different photographs and whatnot and I hope it will help you but certainly um, it is great to, to join YouTube and I hope that you, you follow me along that journey, just subscribe and uh, look forward to the next video. Thanks guys.